Hello everyone. I know it's been a little over a week, but things have been busy <laughs> around here. Um, I got my CPAP this past Friday. Today's Monday the 15th, I think, something like that. <gasps> Sorry, I'm hiccuping dinner. But I can't use it. <laughs> The straps on the mask that hold it up to your face, I can't use because it puts too much pressure on my head and um, causes me to have more headaches. So I had to call the medical supply place today and explain what was going on. So they are going to order me a different mask that's similar to the one that I have, but the straps are a lot softer, I guess, that's what they said. And then I called my pulmonologist's office today as well, just tell them what was going on and see what they wanted me to do. But I really think I'm gonna switch pulmonologist because I don't like him and I will explain why momentarily. But, um, cause I had to get some prescription refills because they wouldn't refill some things. So yeah, but I want to find another, <clears throat> um, I'm also getting over a severe sinus something. I don't know what it was, <clears throat> but he put me on two different inhalers, right? One of which I really liked because it was really helping me and I could breathe better. So what does he go and do? Takes me off of it. So I'm just like, are you serious? Are you mental? And I looked him up because I was trying to find the number because I can't remember. I can barely say his name. And I saw he had reviews, so I looked at him, and there were like three or four other people who had stated that he comes in, looks at the computer, doesn't even really talk to them, and just says what he has to do and leaves. And that he's taken them off of other medications that, um, was, that was helping them and working. And I've had the exact same experiences. The times he's come in, he will walk past me, ignore me, go straight to the computer, do what he's doing there, tell me such and such and such and such, and then leaves. So, whatever. But, I have some awesome news. The apartment I was trying to get, I got it. I'm so happy. I can get out of this hellhole and get into something that will not make me sick. And it will be healthier. <gasps> Sorry. Um, my, th <clears throat> my throat's kind of messed up because I had been trying to use the CPAP and it did something to my vocal cords. I don't know what. And something really awesome as well. Let me get the card so I can show y'all. Um... If you see any the part of my house in the background, it is a complete mess. It is disgusting right now because I'm literally in a scramble to, pan to pack because um, I could be moving as soon as this Friday. So in three days, something like that. And so I just sort of scrambled. I've been pulling stuff down. Yeah. <coughs> but one of my friends has a pearl company on Facebook. And her pearl company is Lucky Pearls by Jennifer. And she is so nice. She will go above and beyond to try to help you. She will even order special things for you, right? Well, she had pull tabs, which is sort of like a lottery thing. And you could win free spin, or more tabs, you could win um, money. And I decided to go, what the hey, why not? So I got $4 worth, which was about 
eight of them because they were 50 cents each. And lo and behold, I get a red number. And I'm like, yay, that's awesome. I got a number. And that the next day she pulled the tab to see who the winners were because there were three winners or three winning numbers. And mine was one of them. So I won $100, which I was so surprised and shocked. I was so happy about that. <clears throat> and so I was able to do some Christmas shopping at her store, which is awesome. Um, here is her card. Come on. There we go. So y'all should definitely go check her out. Um, she is very reasonably priced. She has a lot of sales going on right now. Um, and tell her I sent you. If you check her out, tell her I sent you you won't regret it. It's, it's awesome. I've had a lot of bad experiences with pearl companies and stuff, but she's legit. She's the real deal. So yeah, but yay, I didn't get to move and I won't have to worry about stuff, which takes such a huge load off of my shoulders because I really was worried that I wasn't going to get this apartment and that I would be like, I don't know. I was just was so stressed out. It wasn't fun, but found out today that I got it. And then Wednesday I have to go do the deposit and sign the paperwork. And then I think Friday... I have to go in and do the first month's rent. Something like that. So, yay. But, I'm going to go ahead and get off here because it's cold. It is really cold here right now. It's been in like the 60s all day long. And I don't have a heater. <laughs> Literally, my AC was like trying to catch fire a few months ago. And so, the AC guy figured out it was because of my heater. <coughs> so he disconnected my heater. So I don't have one. So I'm pretty cold. So I'm going to bundle up and just try to relax. Because tomorrow is going to be extremely busy. So I will talk to y'all later. <laughs>